the From the Bench Sports Podcast, bringing you analysis, opinion, and insight into the world of sports with your host and founder of AccessMediaGlobal.com, Mark Janish. Hello once again, everybody. This is the From the Bench Podcast for the 26th of September, 2020. We're going to go over the NFL picks for week number three and uh, maybe some other things here, but predominantly this podcast will be focused on week three picks. Once again, for all the new listeners listening on multiple podcast platforms, welcome. This is a From the Bench podcast associated with my website at accessmediaglobal.com. Um, let's go ahead and get into the picks as we have them. Uh, the Titans and the Vikings. The Titans are favored by two and a half. The over under is 49 and a half. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, take the over and I believe the Titans are going to get this job done in week number three. So take the Titans and the over, uh, for this week, the Patriots and the Raiders, uh, the Raiders did a nice job on Monday Night Football last week. The Patriots are favored by five after their loss to Seattle, 35-30. to The over-under is 47.5. Derek Carr is playing well, and the Raiders have a strong ground game, but it's going to still be tough to travel to Foxborough and win, and Las Vegas has put enough on tape for Bill Belichick to devise a plan as he usually does. I'm going to go ahead and take the Patriots and the over at 47 and a half. Um, I'm not necessarily thrilled with the line of Patriots by five, but if you'd like to take those, um, uh, you can certainly do so. I think they're going to win by less. Uh, the over under is 47 and a half. Take the over and the Patriots in this case in Foxborough. Uh, the very, 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 Iffy, Philadelphia Eagles facing uh, Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, right now, the Eagles are favored by four and a half. The over/under is forty-six and a half. Take the over. Uh, Philadelphia is going to take advantage of a potentially bad defense for Cincinnati. Carson Wentz is getting on track, and Miles Sander. Sanders should be able to control the tempo on the ground. Go ahead and take the Bengals and the over at 46 and a half for the win. The Steelers and the Texans, a strong defense by the Steelers. Uh, The Pittsburgh pass pass rush uh, and a porous Texas line uh, might doom the Texans. Deshaun Watson will be under heavy pressure. Ben Roethlisberger is still knocking the rust off uh, from his injury, but he has... Some made some solid progress. Pittsburgh is 2-0. and Houston's 0-2. Go ahead and take the Steelers and the over at 45. The Falcons and the Bears. Falcons favored by three. The over-under is 47. Uh, Matt Ryan and the Falcons will put up points, but it's a shaky defense that hurts them normally. They're not terrible against the run, though, and Mitchell Trubisky is not a gunslinger. Go ahead and take the Falcons for a bounce-back win over Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears. The Bills and the Rams are going to be playing uh, two, two, two and O teams Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. If Jalen Ramsey cancels Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen will have to go elsewhere as he has as he has other receivers who can get it done. Both these teams are legit, and this could be the best game of the day. Go ahead, and uh, the Bills are favored by 2.5, and, and the over-under is 47. Go ahead and take the over, and I am going to go ahead and take the Rams in an upset. Um, in this case, the Rams be on the road, so we'll see what happens tomorrow uh, as the Rams get it going against the Bills. Should be... Uh, solid game of the day. The Browns and the Washington football team are going to be playing. The Browns favored by seven. The over-under is 45. Uh, the pass rush is very good for Washington, but the pass rush is also vulnerable uh, to getting trampled. That's where Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt come in. The Browns can use their ground game to keep Baker Mayfield upright. Uh, the Browns 
Uh, go ahead and take the Browns in the over. I'm not necessarily thrilled with the line with the Browns by seven, but you can go ahead and take the Browns for the win over the Washington football team. The Giants and the injured 49ers. 49ers are still favored by four. The over-under is 41. George Kittle and Jimmy Garoppolo hobbled. The D-line devastated by season-ending injuries. The 49ers are in a lot of trouble in the NFC West. Still, Daniel Jones needs to get the ball out quickly and limit the turnovers, but he does have a flimsy offensive line. So, uh, the Giants, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the... Giants uh, in an upset. The over is 41. Uh, injured Saquon Barkley. I'm not sure whether Daniel Jones can uh, put away his interception problems and his uh, penchant to fumble. But go ahead and take the Giants in this one. The 49ers are in trouble. Uh, I think the Giants should win this game and take the over at 41. The Colts and the Jets. The Colts are favored by 11.5. The over-under is 44. The Jets are lousy across the board on offense. They're facing a Colt defense that has had a confidence boost against the listless Minnesota Vikings last week. The door is open for a big day from Phillip Rivers in this case. Uh, go ahead and take the Colts, but I'm not necessarily thrilled with a line at 11.5. Uh, that seems a bit much. Uh, I think the Colts will win, but it won't be by the 11.5. The over-under is 44. Go ahead and take the over and the Colts in this game. The Chargers uh, coming off an exciting uh, overtime game against the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl champions. The Chargers by 6.5. The over-under is 43.5. <clears throat> the Panthers will be without Christian McCaffrey in this case. Uh, but the Chargers are pretty good against the run, and the Chargers are likely to pound the run to make life easier against a tough secondary. Austin Eckler, I would expect to get uh, some uh, the majority of the carries for the Chargers, unless uh, Anthony Lynn tries to do running back by committee. Uh, the Chargers by 6.5 take the over at 43.5, and, and I will actually uh, take the Chargers for the win. Um, I believe the Chargers will win this game uh, with the over at 43 and a half and take the six and a half. The surprising Arizona Cardinals up next. Cardinals favored by five and a half. The over under is 55 and a half. The Lions need to corral Kyler Murray and Kenyon Drake. Arizona's offense is rolling and the suspect defense is is doing enough. Matt Stafford always keeps it interesting. But once again, the Lions got trampled by Aaron Jones for 18 carries and 168 yards last week. So um, go ahead and take the Cardinals in a victory. I'm not sure the Lions defense can stop Kyler Murray. So go ahead and take the Cardinals and the over at 55 and one half. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers going to be facing a depleted Denver Broncos squad. The Buccaneers favored by six. The over under is 43. The Broncos are banged up and they're going to have a hard time slowing and improving Buccaneer offense. Jeff Driscoll will put up decent numbers, but he's not beating Tom Brady. So go ahead and take uh, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers over the Broncos. Uh, take the over at 43, and the Buccaneers favored by six. Not sure I like that line, so you get to decide whether you want to take that line. Another game of the day. Uh, Russell Wilson facing Dak Prescott in Seattle, the 2-0 Seahawks. Seattle's run defense has been swarming and needs to be uh, needs to do so against Dallas. Its pass defense is vulnerable, though, and Dak Prescott might be able to roll up some s significant yardage uh, against the Seahawks. Russ what can Russell Wilson do? The Seahawks are favored by five. The over-under is 56. Uh, Russell Wilson off to a great start in Seattle uh, so far as we go into week three. As we enter week three, we're in week three. Uh, they take the over in 56. I do think the Seahawks will win this game. I think it's going to be 
over five, but that's what the line is right now. I think the Seahawks will probably win by six or seven. And the evening game, a very interesting game, a declining Drew Brees. Two legendary quarterbacks could come down to who has the better run game. Green Bay's Aaron Jones and New Orleans' Alvin Kamara will be playing big roles in the outcome. Like I said, I'm not impressed with Drew Brees' uh, throwing ability. He's only average throwing the ball down the field, 4.82 yards. Now, that could be based upon the non-presence of receiver Michael Thomas, but we'll have to see. The night game is going to be very interesting. I go ahead and I take the Packers in this game. Uh, even though the Saints are favored by three, I go ahead and take the Packers in an upset victory. The over-under is 52.5. Go ahead and take the over in this particular game. And Monday's game, the Ravens and the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is, um, is phenomenal. Travis Kelsey and the other receivers need to pull their weight. Baltimore is already at a comfortable cruising altitude and is really tough at home. Go ahead and take the Ravens for the win and the over. The Ravens are favored by 3.5, and, and the over-under is 54.5. Once again, uh, just for for new listeners, I don't do uh, Thursday games. I don't partic- particularly like the quality of Thursday night football. But that being said, that should end and will end this edition of the From the Bench podcast. If you'd like to support the From the Bench podcast, listen to our announcer or the announcer to let you know how you can support the continued growth and existence of this podcast. Enjoy the From the Bench podcast on the website at accessmediaglobal.com or you can go to multiple podcast platforms, Stitcher, Libsyn, Google, iHeartRadio, among others. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Enjoy the weekend, and we'll talk next week as we move along in the sporting community. For AccessMediaGlobal.com and the From the Bench Sports Podcast, I'm Mark Janish, wishing you a very pleasant weekend, and take care, everyone. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the From the Bench Sports Podcast. You can listen to this and any other podcast episode on Libsyn, Stitcher Radio, and Spotify. If you'd like to support the From the Bench Podcast, you may go to the accessmediaglobal.com website and click on the Donate tab.